I'm Liz Spencer and welcome to Business Connection, introducing you to the names and faces of Naperville area entrepreneurs and business owners. Today we'll visit with our friends at BMO Harris Bank. We'll also go on location to Luigi's Pizza and Fun Center, but stay tuned for Dutchman Heating and Cooling, all here on Business Connection. Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have an old friend in studio. It's Mike Baker. He's the owner of Dutchman Heating and Cooling. Welcome back, Mike. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I've noticed that you've been on your website. You say you're a Christian business. And why is that important to you? Well, uh, it is paramount to me in my life and how I go about things. Uh, the reason I advertise it in business is because I just want people to know that I'm motivated to be honest. Uh, many people advertise we serve with honesty, integrity, that sort of thing, and uh, certainly that's important. But uh, I don't know how much I want to believe that sometimes. Uh, so the reason I do that is not just for good business sense. I think it is great practical way of doing business, but uh, at the end of the day, whether or not my customers would recognize it, I'm called to do that in my faith. Uh, Has your faith been renewed recently that or giving you a greater sense of purpose? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in September, I had a, a kind of a life-changing event. Uh, the Lord uh, had me suffer through cancer, and okay. uh, through that, I uh, uh, I went through uh, some changes in my lifestyle. I've certainly learned to eat better, mm -hmm. uh, to exercise more. Uh, it's a great way to start each day. That I'm going for a bit of a run, and I've used that as my prayer time. So what that's done for me has helped me get up and start moving. It helps me have more of a sense of purpose, uh, clears my head, and helps me think better throughout the day. Well, and sometimes, sometimes a little reminder of how precious life is can, can just really move us along. Yeah, believe it or not, I look back at that as a blessing in my life because mm -hmm. it's changed me much, much better off than I had been previously. Awesome. Well, we're glad that you've recovered and a uh, strong member of our community. You do so much. So, so as we look at it's springtime, which is a great time for a renewal on that. What should we be thinking about for HVAC in that? Is there something? It's kind of on the cusp. I feel like I got one foot in winter and one foot in spring. Yeah, and we've had a mild winter. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been slow in our industry. Mm -hmm. uh, 2019 was a fantastic year for us. <laughs> 2020 starting off a little bit slow. Uh, we're real thrilled because we've added some wonderful people to our staff oh, nice. so uh, with all the growth that we had last year we feel like we are now staffed uh, perfectly for the year to come uh, but now we're looking for work to keep mm -hmm. the guys going so uh, the upcoming season yes uh, preparing to get your air conditioner cleaned and checked we offer things uh, other services like duct cleaning we offer mm -hmm. attic insulation uh, we do this mostly this time of year to help keep our guys busy uh, we certainly don't want to be in attics when it's 90 degrees outside mm -hmm. uh, so we can help prepare people People lowering their utility cost by making sure that ins insulation is well provided for in their attic um, and then maybe think of spring cleaning cleaning mm -hmm. the duct work out doesn't need to be done every year but if it hasn't been done since ma major construction or moving in every five ten years is probably a good idea that's something to think about I think people don't think of the duct or ducting in their house as being something because you never see it right so it can just um, get grimy and, and carry, especially if you have allergens. I would, if you have a lot of allergies in your family, I imagine that duct cleaning would be a great thing to do. Certainly that, keep the dust down in the home, absolutely. And then uh, we always look to complement that with air cleaning products. So if okay. you have an allergy, it's not just about what was stuck in the ductwork that might move from time to time, it's about continually cleaning. So we offer lots of uh, different types of products, some that are excellent at keeping uh, the dust itself uh, removed from the air, and others that attack things like the flu virus, uh, MRSA, and uh, even off of surfaces, not just air cleaning, but some of the, the viruses that can grow on surfaces that you might otherwise touch. Is that a filtration program? How, or how does that work? Well, uh, the, there are what we call passive filters that mm -hmm. uh, the air has to travel through in order to capture the dust and mm -hmm. particulate. Uh, but now we have things that are like air scrubbers. They literally okay. put scrubbers into the air, changing the molecular makeup of uh, some of the allergens and that sort of thing, and taking smaller particulars, uh, particulate, making it heavy so it drops to the surfaces to be cleaned, but also changing the chemical 
chemical makeup of some of those uh, viruses and bacteria, wow. so they're no longer a flu virus once you come in contact with it. Wow, that's terrific. So yeah. you can protect your home in many ways that way. Protect your home and your health. We always, uh, one of our taglines is we uh, we look to protect the, the ones you love, whether that yeah. be your family or pets mm -hmm. as part of the family. Yeah, pets are a big part of the family as you as you demonstrate with your two pooches, <laughs> your two little pups. I love them. So uh, talk to me a little bit now. Not only do you do the air filtration, but you've talked to me about humidity in the home too that you know, I always think about humidity for myself you know whether my my skin is 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 re reacting to that but it really is good for the home too so talk to me a little bit about that yes in many ways uh, so when it comes to being too dry usually over the course of the winter we look to add humidity it will make you feel warmer mm -hmm. uh, when we add humidity and it will also of course protect dry skin uh, and help keep you healthy uh, when your when your lungs dry out mm -hmm. you tend to be more susceptible but you you referred to the home mm -hmm. uh, when when the home gets dry you see the dry hardwood floors start to open up the cracks in between musical instruments become problematic as well if not kept in proper humidity levels so that that's for adding humidity conversely uh, in, in the summer we look to remove humidity so that perhaps the basement doesn't have that musty smell mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's interesting that both too dry or too humid causes problems with their health so if you keep the proper humidity level you're going to feel better in summer or winter but you're also going to be healthier by avoiding some of the illnesses and some of the uh, uh, organisms that can live in either too high humidity or in too low of humidity. So do you bring in that humidity system? Does that usually come in when you bring in a new heater or can you add that to an existing one if somebody doesn't have it? How does that work? Yeah, uh, we do whole home humidification okay. and dehumidification. They are two separate units. Okay. The whole home humidifiers are typically installed on a whole home heating system. Okay. There are some standalone models available, uh, especially if people have a hot water heat where they don't have a ducted system. Uh, but we do typically do the uh, ducted systems in Naperville here, and we use the whole home humidifiers that okay. we add to those. That's awesome. I always love when you visit because I always learn so much about what I need to be doing because most of us just think about heating and cooling, but they don't think about the the air within our homes. And if we don't treat that, then that's what we're breathing. Yes, yep. And we just all assume it's great, but if we don't treat it or help it, that's interesting. So as we as we look at the spring, what are the top five things I need to think about for my being ready for spring and summer? Top five, okay. Top uh, five. Well, certainly getting it well maintained. Right. Um, keeping it clean will help it run more efficiently, and hopefully we're, we're finding issues before they become problems. Before um, it's 90 degrees and I'm yep, calling you? Yep. Yeah, yep. okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Then I would also make sure that you're doing your portion, and that might be keeping up on your filtration system. So okay. you might have something as simple as a one-inch filter, uh, which might need to be changed as often as monthly. You may have uh, media filters that last six months to a year. Okay. But either way, making sure that the filtration system is well-maintained, because otherwise that can uh, impede the performance or efficiency of your system. Um, after that, I, I would say maybe setting the thermostat where you like it, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that the program is set uh, according to your desires, uh, and maybe even consider replacing it if you don't have one that uh, accommodates that. Right, because you can now replace it with some really cool new ones. Yeah, so some the, of the technology, technology is really, is really good. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. you can get anything from the Wi-Fi to even live weather and radar forecasts on your, your thermostat. That's so cool. Lots of neat features there. Um, beyond that, I would suggest, yeah, making sure your home is prepared and it's not just the heating and cooling, like I said earlier, either attic insulation or just that, you know, maybe you even need to consider, consider windows. And mm -hmm. now we don't do that, but that it might be something else if you have leaky windows, that sort of thing, trying to keep the heat out, uh, maybe blinds to keep uh, the sunlight from over heat gain in, in the summer as well. Um, and then I would also say ceiling fans. Mm -hmm. uh, we should be reversing our ceiling fans each season. Hmm. Um, the idea is in the winter you would like to blow the heat from the ceiling down mm -hmm. and in the summer you'd like to pull the cool air from the floor up. So reversing the rotation of your ceiling fans will change the, the amount of heat going up or down uh, throughout the uh, course of the season. That's awesome. As always, Mike, I learned so much, and that heat, that ceiling fan is a brand new tip for me. So thank you so much for stopping by. I am super glad to hear that you made it through your, your struggle with cancer and that you are 
going strong and, and still being a great leader in our community. So thank you so much for what you do, and thanks for coming on Business Connection. Well, thank you. We appreciate what you do, too. And NC17 is a favorite of ours. Well, thank you. We're going to be right back with more Business Connection. Stay tuned. later um, my business has increased tremendously this year so having this lovely interview online plus other things that I'm doing in my marketing I've had a really nice increase in business I'm enjoying my clients I'm enjoying my life so I really appreciate that I had the opportunity to interview on business connection Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We're on location today at BMO Harris Bank, where we're learning all about their banking services. Thanks for letting me drop by. Tell me a little bit about BMO Harris and its rich history here in town. BMO is the eighth largest bank in North America, and I don't think a lot of people realize no. that. <laughs> we have almost 600 branches across eight states, mostly in the Midwest here, but also Florida and Arizona. We've been serving Chicago. We've been in Chicago since about 1861. We've been in Naperville here since 1957, serving the community here. That's wonderful. I, I don't think we think of you as that big because we think of BMO Harris here in Naperville as our bank, mm -hmm. you know, somebody we, a bank we can walk in and, and just talk to you. So we appreciate that. What makes this bank different? Everything we do uh, as an institution to serve our individual clients, to serve our business clients, uh, to support our communities is really designed to boldly grow the good, we like to say. Um, that's from you know how we serve our consumers at every life stage. It's from how we design our products. Everything we do is really about helping us grow the business in a way that supports our individual customers as well as our community. So tell us a little bit about the community involvement you do and why is that important for BMO Harris? You know, it's such an important part of our culture. It's who we are uh, as an institution. It's a big part of what we do every year. So it's not, it's it's ongoing and it's, it's continuous as we go through it. But if you look at 2018 as an example across the organization, uh, we gave over $18 million to charity. Um, if you look at this year alone, as early as our volunteer day uh, back in June, um, we donated it was over 2,200 uh, employees that equated to about three years of man hours donated to the community in just one day. That doesn't count our board affiliations, our engagement in local community organizations and things like that. Um, and so it's a, it's a really important part of who we are and, and our culture internally as well as, as who the face of the bank is to the community. Thank you for all that you do in the community. I especially appreciate it at NCTV 17, where you support Naperville Sports Weekly, where we celebrate local high school athletes. It's so important to commemorate what they do. So thank you for that and everything you do for the community. No, we appreciate that. And we've, we've been honored to, to support the programming at NCTV. Um, I would say that's just one example of things mm -hmm. we do locally. I think um, organizations like Loaves and Fishes, which is an absolutely incredible not-for-profit serving the DuPage County community, and it's really focused on on meeting just the basic needs of feeding families throughout mm -hmm. the county. And it's something that we've been a part of and a sponsor of for, uh, for quite a long time. One of the programs there that's really uh, critical to us is we sponsor uh, a 16-week class through their organization to help families go from poverty uh, to the next level um, and really help them uh, develop the habits and understand the impacts of what poverty does and how they can, how they can find the resources to help them uh, move to the next level in life and, and support their families. And it's something that we're very proud of. It's something we've, we've supported for a very long time, both in terms of money and as well as resources. And I think another quick example is the Community Career Center um, that we support. And uh, there we actually take one-on-one -on -one individual BMO employees who mentor clients, if you will, of the agency on their first interview. So how do we help them prep for job interviews and, and get ready for that next step in their career? And so there are exciting programs. There are ways that we can get involved individually, but also we can support with dollars to the community. And it's such a critical part of who we are because if it's if we don't have a healthy community we don't have a healthy bank and so uh, this is the part that i think really drives our employees and drives our mission about boldly growing the good 
That's awesome. Both are quality organizations doing important work to keep us all vital. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dave, for uh, letting me stop by and share a few moments with you and, and learn a little bit more about BMO Harris Bank. No, appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Well, I was just downstairs with uh, your retail and your personal banking, learning about that, talking to Dave, and I'm so excited to come up here and talk to you guys. I don't think many of us realize how big of an organization the BMO Harris Group is and how much you offer us. Kevin, let's start with you. What do you do here and what do you offer the, the customer? Thanks, Liz. First of all, thanks for having us this morning. We really appreciate the opportunity. My role here at BMO is basically I manage our commercial banking team that's based here in Naperville. And really our team uh, services and provides banking solutions to companies of all different sizes, uh, ranging from small businesses and sole proprietorships to medium-sized businesses to Fortune 500 companies to not-for-profits. And we do that in a number of different ways, uh, providing them with financing, uh, providing them with cash management services, providing them with international banking services, and really any services they might need to, to grow their businesses. So Kevin, we have a lot of choices for commercial banking. What sets mm -hmm. BMO Harris apart? It's a great question, Liz. I think here at BMO, our theme is really boldly growing the good, both in business and in life. And we try to do that in a number of different ways, both with our customers, our employees, and the communities that we serve. Uh, I think from a customer perspective, uh, we really strive to be trusted advisors to our customers and really provide them with guidance and resources and expertise that they need to get through all phases in their lives, whether it be their personal situations or their, their business or commercial uh, organizations that they own. Uh, we also try to make banking simple for them. We make it simple through really having kind of a turnkey approach uh, really personal banking services, commercial banking services, and wealth management all in, under one roof here in Naperville, for example. We also provide them with digital banking services to make their banking lives easier, which provides them an opportunity to open accounts uh, through their personal devices, uh, apply for loans, their personal devices, look up their accounts uh, online, etc. And then from a community standpoint, uh, really we believe strongly in supporting the communities where we have locations and where we do business. Uh, so we take our corporate responsibility very, very seriously from that front. So that translates to basically providing leadership, uh, providing financial resources, and providing volunteers to support a number of different organizations really throughout Naperville and the Chicago metro area. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, you mentioned wealth management, and that's where you come in. So tell me a little bit about what you do here. You guys have a private bank. I don't think many of us realize that. So tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Well, thanks again for having us. Uh, I would say generally and big picture, what private banking is set up to do is to work with individuals, families, business owners, and professionals. Uh, we provide highly customized advice to those individuals along with personalized service. So the overarching goal in the private bank is to give our clients complete peace of mind and peace of mind in terms of knowing that they're receiving exceptional financial advice and their wealth is working uh, hard for them the focus in private banking. It really is sort of end, end holistic uh, services that we offer our clients, ranging from banking, your everyday uh, deposits and loans that clients may need, professional money management service, as well as trust and estate planning, working in tandem with our clients' attorneys. Uh, in addition to charitable planning, retirement planning, and holistic wealth planning. That's amazing. That is, it's just so nice to have it all under one roof. Kevin, tell me a little bit about your community involvement. You mentioned that that's one of the, the roles mm -hmm. of a bank, and, and we so appreciate it. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have been wonderful partners for Naperville. Great. Well, thanks, Liz. Yeah, from a community standpoint, as I mentioned earlier, uh, really it's part of the fabric of BMO. We believe strongly in kind of giving back to the communities uh, where we have locations and where we do business and where we have customers uh, and, and employees, quite frankly. So here, just to give you a, a few examples, uh, here in Naperville, uh, there's an organization by the name of Samaricare. Uh, that provides counseling services to individuals and families really throughout the western suburbs, DuPage County, Will County, etc. Um, so Samaricare happens to be a client of our bank. Uh, they recently underwent an expansion so they can add some additional counselors and serve even more families and individuals here in the area. We've also been very active with the Naperville uh, Area Chamber of Commerce uh, over the years uh, and obviously the chamber does some fantastic things relative to promoting uh, business growth and making sure that businesses in the Naperville area are thriving. So we've been a proud partner and uh, um, had board members on the chamber and really supported the chamber's cause for a number of years as well. That's wonderful. Well, BMO Harris is really supporting Naperville and, and the people that make up Naperville, whether that be the residents through your retail banking or businesses or, or private banking. It is so nice to have that all in one very caring organization. Thanks you two for letting me come up here and talk with you a little bit about what you do up here. Thanks, Thank Liz. you. Thank you.
NCTV17.com is the best place for you to stay up to date on your neighborhood happenings. Get your local news and sports all on the go by signing up for our daily news update. Naperville Community Television, keeping you informed. Welcome to Business Connection, I'm Liz Spencer. We're on location today in Aurora at Luigi's Pizza and Fun Center. Bill, tell me about Luigi's Pizza and Fun Center. I love the fact that you call it a fun center. Tell That's me all what about it, it is. It's, it's fun. Uh, I want people to come here and enjoy themselves, even if they come just to have food, but I just want them to have fun. We always got the game room, we got laser tag, we got mini bowling, we have all that stuff. So there's people that just come to eat. Sure, well the, the pizza yep. is good, yeah. so you know, yep. you, you gotta have good pizza. Yep. So this really reminds me of growing up and I had in my neighborhood, you know, a pizza place that all the families went to because they had, mom and dad had kids ranging anywhere from itty bitty to high school. And it was a place we could all go and everybody could have a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. And that's what this place reminds me of. So mom and dad could have some food and the kids could run wild, but I didn't have laser tag. So tell me no, about No, no, yeah. me too. Laser tag, I wasn't sure. Uh, we had a climbing wall in here mm -hmm. and due to family issues, they had to pull out of here and I wasn't sure what to put in there. So it took me a year to figure it out and I went up to Buffalo, New York to look at laser trons, their equipment. Mm -hmm. But I went up there three different times because you know, $300,000 to invest in laser tag equipment and the arena stuff and all that wasn't quite sure right but oh yeah it was a great investment right it kind of combines the best of both worlds it kind of mm -hmm. lets you run around oh yeah and then have some technology yeah it's a good workout it really is uh, you, we, we keep it at 55 60 degrees cool because when you put that vest on you kind of get warm and mm -hmm. sweat a little bit so it's it's pretty cool well you get a little adrenaline going too oh gosh yes yes so oh, yeah. i think that helps so so we've got the laser tag we've got mini bowling and all the arcades i, I bet that's fun because i remember playing that as a kid you know quickly eat my pizza and then go try my my luck at some of those games in the last 10 years the arcade business has changed dramatically bigger games more leds mm -hmm. That kind of thing. And when the kid, when people come here, they want to have a thrill. Mm -hmm. They can kind of buy these games at home and play them on TV and stuff like that. But when they come here, you hear the noise, you feel the vibration, and that's what's good about some of these games. That's what's good about coming here. Right. Well, that's what I think makes an arcade fun. Is you cannot recreate that at your house. Nope. No. 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 no you just no. can't get it all. No. 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 And no. And then the people around you, it's like a shared experience, it's like going to a movie. You can have big screens, but right. there's something about going to a movie together, something about playing an arcade. Yeah. Tell me about the families that come here. Who comes here? Mostly kids. Uh, okay. Any kids from 2 to maybe 16 have birthday parties here. Families come here. It doesn't make any difference. It's Christmas time or reunions or stuff like that. Saturday, I met an old baseball buddy of mine from North Aurora that brought his family down here. And they come every year, and I didn't even realize it. That's awesome. But I just saw him here Saturday. It was nice to see them. I saw the kids that were growing up. And it was just a thrill to talk to them for a while. That's so, awesome. Yeah. You mentioned birthday parties mm -hmm. and events. So um, tell me about how that works. So you can come here and kind of, we're sitting in the event space right now and mm -hmm. kind of reserve a little space for you and your family. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. We have uh, four banquet rooms that you can okay. rent out. We have different times for, them or for all of them. This room right now, this, this seats 100 people. The wow. one next to 75, and then we have a 45, and then an 18 room. Uh, seating so that you can kind of go small or whatever yes how many how many square feet do you have here 27,000 square feet wow yeah. of fun of fun yeah. of fun yeah. wow that's amazing yep. so you mentioned families i would bet this would be great for like a baseball team yes oh yeah, yeah. we we get a number of them end of june july after their season's end or mm -hmm. their championships or whatever they come here because it's very easy you don't have to worry about the floors and some will wear their rubber spikes in here, and that's fine. That's okay, you know. But uh, yeah, they come in there for that celebration. Some soccer teams come in here, basketball teams at the end of the year. It's a good place to uh, just come and celebrate that last time or that that victory or getting first place or getting second in a tournament. 
And tell me about the food. So I, I think pizza instantly, but what else do you have? Because so, I saw the menu. It was large. Yeah, it is, actually. Lar uh, Luigi's was the first pizza place in Aurora. Mm -hmm. So uh, we still have thin pan pizza. That's like two double cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we just came up uh, just 11 months ago with a Roman pizza pizza. It's an uh, old recipe of 2,200 years ago. And then the, and the dough that we get comes from Italy. So, but it has no sugar in it. Hmm. Yeah, and it rises at 32 degrees. Let me say that again, it rises at 32 okay. degrees. We got to keep in the cooler for 48 hours. Wow. Yeah, it's sounds, totally different. Sounds some delicious. Some people like it, some don't. It's, it's totally different. Some, it, it's hard when somebody grows up with a certain kind of pizza. Mm -hmm. It could be mom's pizza at home that she made, you know, right. Chef already and crust, and that's the first taste they had. That's the pizza. Some this pizza place or that pizza place. And I don't get I don't get ticked off at all. People say I like this one better because you know what? We all grew up in different areas of the of the you know country and they all had different sauces, different cheeses, different thicknesses mm -hmm. and that's okay with me. That's okay. Well yeah. I think your pizza's pretty good. Yes. So and I think it's it's a nice universal meal to come together as a family to share. Yeah, it is. It's it is. easy to share. You know, you can get, adults can get a pizza that may have a little bit more stuff on it and mm -hmm. then kids can get their, their cheese. That's what we used to yeah. always do growing up. Yeah. And then uh, kids can get soda and then you've got a pretty full bar too. Yeah, we do. We got a complete full bar, um, but we sell mostly draft beers okay. and we brought in craft beers about six years ago and we just keep changing them all the time. Oh, yeah. There's good flavor, and I just love that idea. We can change it, and, and some of the names for craft beers are just unbelievable. You just, <laughs> where do they come up with them? But, you know, if you think about it, there's only so many names you can name this. You know, right. this, you know flat tire beer. Who the heck would thought of a name like that? It's, it's popular. You it know? is, so. it's, and it's, it's a nice way to, uh, I love a good craft beer with some pizza. Yeah. So keep it, keep it fresh, keep it moving yep. so that people don't. Um, get bored, and I, I bet that's the challenge. I mean, that you've had to keep evolving over the years. Yeah. If I don't go to pizza expos or laser tag expos or bowling expos, I don't keep up with that. I, you know, you lose out because it, you're right. It changes so much. Everything changes. The games are changing. The food changes. The pizza changes. The appetizers change. Everything changes, and you got to kind of keep up with some of it. You can't take on everything. But you can pick some out here and there and hope it fits with you. And if it fits, wow, you did good. That's it. Well, well, and I think the community of, of Aurora is pretty lucky to have you. Here you are in this great big space, bringing them a great, a fun center and pizza and a place together. So you're, you're kind of building community here. Yes, yeah. Uh, was that uh, part of the goal? Uh, well, it was, but I didn't, I didn't think it would extend as far out as it has, you know? So uh, about six years ago, I did a study on where our birthday parties are coming. 45% are coming outside of Aurora. So the surrounding areas are coming here also for their birthday parties or their, their gatherings or their sport teams. There's not too many facilities that have the, the space and the area like we have. That's neat. Yeah. Well, I think you have something just about for everybody from date night to family night to big for birthday parties, big celebrations, you've got it all covered in one big old space. Yeah. That's awesome. Bill, thanks for stopping or letting me stop by okay. and see what you do. Thanks. And, and learn a little bit more about you. Thank so, you. Thanks, thanks for doing what you do. Well, I love it. I it get shows. up every morning, can't wait to get to work. And we'll be right back with more Business Connection. Stay tuned. If you're interested in a television appearance on Business Connection as a way to reach out to your community or to gain exposure for your company, contact NCTV17 at 630-355-2124. I'm Liz Spencer and thank you for watching Business Connection.